Hey guys, KRX50 here with another video, with another video, specifically another travel log. And today I am at Kamen Rider the Diner in Ikebukuro, Tokyo. This is a restaurant completely dedicated to Tokyo that was set up last year as part of the 40th anniversary of the Kamen Rider series. So as you see here, we have the entrance sign here. And to start, we have this display here, which shows off stuff from Kamen Rider Wizard. And so, we'll move inside, where right here we have a little shop with a skeleton pattern representing Shocker, the enemies of the original Kamen Rider. On this wall, we have holographs from Kamen Rider actors who came and visited Kamen Rider the diner. So you can see they all left their autograph and some even drew pictures. So moving inside, over here we have posters from the last two riders, Forze and Oath. And right here we have statues of the first two Kamen Riders, simply called Kamen Rider 1 and Kamen Rider 2. Moving over here, we have a replica of Kamen Rider Kuga's bike, the Pride Chaser, and figures of both the Showa and Heisei Riders behind it. So within the actual restaurant, there are bunches of displays from various series. Here is one from Conrad O's, featuring all his O medals and hang hand of his, onk, his ally Ankh. So just moving around, we'll take a look at the other displays. This one has Blade, Kiba, and Forze, with all of his switches. On this wall, we have the figures for all of Oz's potential combos. At least minus some of his medals, but for the standards, at least. But here we have some more ones. Here's displays for Hibiki, Double, Decayed, Kabuto, Deno, Ryuki, Another one for Forza, this one being a figure display, as well as one for O's. On the walls you can see that, at least if we take a closer look, we can see that our TV monitors playing openings to various Kamen Rider themes, to various Kamen Rider series. And here we have a chair for the leader of Shocker which, as I said, was the enemies of the original Kamen Rider. Also got little displays on the table, as well as various books. But even more over here. We also got the menu right over here. So we'll take a look at that. Food menu, since Forza was the last rider, we have a lot of things for Forza. But you've also got dishes based on other riders, like Blade, or Hibiki. There's one for Agito, one for Fies, there's another for Blade, Yuki. Kuga. And you also have the desserts. Behind that is the drink menu, where you have both, both soda drinks and alcoholic drinks. Plus, some merchandise that you can buy from the store. Overall, this is a very cool place. It's a little small, but this is a this is on the fourth floor of a building with several restaurants on it. So, basically, it's limited by the size of the building, at least length and width-wise. Overall, if you're a Conrad fan, I would definitely recommend checking this place out. But one thing to note is that you can't get in here without reservation, and you have to make a reservation online at least three days in advance. 
So what you have to check out their website and fill out a form online. And while the categories and sections are in Japanese, you can just run that through a translator and you should be able to figure out what to do. But yeah, if you're in Tokyo and you're a Kanonar fan, then this place is a must to visit. I haven't ordered yet, but after this video I will. So yeah, overall, really cool place for a Kanonar fan. Totally recommended. Or even if you're just like a casual fan, I definitely recommend checking this out. Because this is just an amazing place. And they let you take all the pictures you want. So that's a nice little plus. But, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.